welcome to another week of Empowerment Technology Subject. Again, I'm your teacher, Shalami W. Pareha. For this week, let's talk about our topic, Website Design and Development. So, the effectiveness of web de website design it what is what makes it a website click. So, if it can catch the client's attention in a matter of seconds, makes a good impression, has a good reliability, credibility, and professionalism. So, that's how we can say that uh, website design is effective. So, in website design and development, the goal is to create a visual representation that are stunning, almost a literal point that is makes page visitors stop and stay. Using aesthetically appealing web graphics, styles, layouts, as well as psychologically proven principles in business marketing and consumer advertising, your website design should be armed and ready for colossal battleground of advent advertisers and marketers that is the World Wide Web. So let's talk about content management system or also known as also known as CMS. So the CMS is a reach in a website authoring collaboration and administration tools. It gives users the ability to create, edit, and manage the contents of their websites easily without requiring in-depth technical orientations which grants non-technical users the ability of managing documents and outputs for multiple author participation. So aside from the content management system, let's talk about the different designs. So the first one is Parallax Design. Parallax Website Design is a great way to present our product or the story of our brand. So in 2016, mobile web browsing has overtaken desktop browsing both for regular users and professionals. So, our next client may make their way to our website on his or her phone. So, really the question is, is our website responsive and ready? The next design is responsive web. So, responsive web design is one of the leading web design trends of today. It allows users to view and navigate our design or our website with ease in whatever device, platform, or browser. A site that uses responsive web design has the elements such as the CSS3, media queries, fluid grids, flexible images, and it is not as complicated as it sounds. So, let's make it both easy for our business and for our user. Makes um, It makes an illusion of depth by isolating foreground and background elements. So that is a responsive web design or responsive web design. So the next type is e-commerce or we also known as e-commerce website. E-commerce means electronic commerce. So it is becoming the prevalent buy and sell format not only in developing countries but almost all around the world. It is the main channel of conducting commercial business for stop, start up or even conglomerates. Next, we have virtual tour. It gives our audience a glimpse of the service we offer. Virtual tours are ideal for businesses whose customers need to see and experience the features of a place. Even more so, virtual tours can be integrated with virtual reality functions and renders for a more immersive experience. Last but not the least, we have Flash Website Development. 
Adobe Flash has been a delightful breakthrough in website technology. It is flexible and allows eye-catching animation and interactive elements to be used in website functions that were not even possible until around early 2000s. Now, we already know the different design. Let's go ahead and upload our websites. So, how can we upload website in Easy Steps? So, let me share to you some easy tips and tricks with that. So, to do so, we have to up, um, in order to upload website in Easy Steps, we have the following um, step by step direction. So, the first one is pick the right hosting provider. Second, choose the tool and method to upload your website. Followed by upload your website file, move the website file to the main root folder, and of course, import your database. Last but not the least, check if your website works in worldwide. So, of course, you need to check if your links and also all your files are uploaded correctly. The next step after uploading our website, we need to monitor our site st statistics on different platforms. So, to do so, we have the following. First, we can use Overview. It contains the summary of statistics about our page. Likes. It contains the statistics about the trends of page likes. Reach. It contains the information about the number of people who were reached by your post. Fourth. Visit. It contains the data of number of times your page tabs are visited. Next. Post. It contains data showing when your site visitor visit your site. Six, people. It contains statistics about your audience demographics. It also includes demographics about the people you have reached and engaged with. Now, we already know how to monitor our site statistics on different platforms. Now, let's move forward on inserting YouTube videos on our blog post so to do so we have the following step so the first one search video on youtube next go to the bottom of the video and click share button and click embed next copy the code go to your target page and last but not the least we need to paste the code on our design page and then preview and publish Next, let's talk about the different multimedia content that we can put on our or we can upload on our website. So, the first one is video. So, through video hosting site, it can take a video and show the entire world. Sound, music, or audio. So, if videos are too much, it can always record sounds and share to the entire world. Online games. Game developers now create what is called browser-based games. It does not need to install these games to a computer as they run most up in the most updated web browser. The fourth one is an online test. Online survey forms and tests that automatically displays the results when finished. Some example of this is online IQ and personality test. Next, we have courseware. Online courseware that stimulate the classroom online. Example of these are e-learning courseware using learning management system. Podcast, an episodic series of audio or text files streamed online. Example of this is Stuff You Should Know and TED Talks. Podcast, an episodic series of video streams online. Example of this are YouTube series, shows like Video Games High School, and Good Mythical Morning. So those were some of the examples of vodcast. Now we already know our lesson for this week. Let's proceed answering asynchronously our learning activity worksheets or law. So for activity number one, 
it is a multiple choice type of test. So directions, read each item carefully and choose the best answer. For activity 2, we have identification which is also 10 points. So read each item carefully and identify terms on every item. Activity 3, we have identification also which is also 10 points. So read and, read and identify the following process and write the corresponding letter it belongs to. So whether it belongs to upload website in easy steps, monitoring site statistic on different platform, or inserting YouTube videos on your blog post. So you do not need to answer activity number four. So you just need to accomplish activity one, two, and three. So that is our lesson and activity for this week. So do you have any more questions or clarifications? Or you want to contact me on how we can improve our video lesson? So do not hesitate to send me an email, my contact number, my Facebook account, and my MS Teams account. So always remember to always remember to stay safe and happy learning to everyone. Thank you very much for watching.